Yo guys, Theo here on Common Sense. Happy early Christmas to y'all. <laughs> wow, so great for a sweet to be able to say this. Over there it's now below zero. And well, while I miss the winter and the snow, it's in my DNA basically, right? It's just a very nice change for a sweet. So okay. Stop thinking your problems are special. Stop thinking your situation is somehow unique and that's why you haven't reached your goals yet. And that's why you haven't seen the results you'd like. Because your problems are not special. You are not special. Get this into your head just like I am not special. Do you know what the difference is between people that see results and the people that don't? Is that the people that don't, they, they come up with reasons why it can't happen, you know. Oh, no. I can't do it because of this, you know, yeah, but this is in a way, my job, yeah, it's a very complex situation with my job, or, or this thing that happened. While the person that gets the result, they have the exact same problems, only they think, okay, what do I do about it now? It's two different mindsets. So I can't do it because of, or how do I do it now? Do you understand? It's like, yeah, it's easier for the ego to want to blame something outside of yourself because of your lack of results like but the, the, the thing is the people that don't see results it's not that the way was just paid for them that's a looser mentality to think oh well, it's easy for him or her because they are did it did it you don't see because they are not whining like you about it. they're not making their situation the excuse not to let it happen they are saying okay this is my situation okay this difficult thing happened to me how do I do it now you know I talk to so many people like in life in general potential clients or current clients too of course it's just that if they are current clients they have already come you know pretty far with their mindset and will come further as I work with them but when I talk to people they're like oh yeah when, when school is over I'll do this yeah I'm so just flooded with work you know or I had this injury yeah, ever since my knee you know yeah my knee so I can't really train because of my knee or, or you know oh, say I was just depressed I have no energy blah 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 thing is all those things I faced I'm so sick and tired of it not for me personally I don't care if someone thinks I have it easy but I care that people make the excuses to not do what they should be doing that I know they could be doing like all those things I've had to deal with you know like I've had to just take coming here I, I come here and I realize there's not even a gym nearby uh, a good gym nearby I'm like shit what do I do not only for my own training you know but actually my content I need to be able to do this to put out, out content on Instagram mainly, I put out a lot more like actual workout content, right? And uh, so I'm like, okay, what do I do now? But I have brought my rings, that's what I'm doing right here. I'm training chin ups now, or like one arm chin ups, it's a break between sets. I find the best gym, I go looking, uh, and I take a taxi there for the workouts, like mainly leg workouts that I feel I need that for. I've had many injuries. I've had many severe injuries throughout this, these years. The first one, my shoulder, I had to walk around with my fucking arm like this. I was scared, you know, like shit. But I found, what can I do? The only thing I could do for the chest to begin with was cable flies at this angle. So I just smashed like 10 sets of that for, for the chest on my push workouts, you know. And I've had crippling depression from brutal heartache, uh, you know. Uh, and uh, not felt like doing anything at all, not feeling like going to the gym at all, but I still did it. I've, uh, I've had grueling anxiety that makes me afraid of going to work, to the work, talk with clients, and I don't want to go in the gym when I feel that way, but I did it anyway. It's like, fuck you and your excuses and thinking that your problems are so unique. It's like, I I'm so tired of it. Like, like a lot of people, they don't want to. They, they want to complain about this. They, they, they don't want to solve the problems. They want to feel as if. They want to feel as if, you know, they want to, uh, like, enjoy having the result in the sense kind of like, you know, oh, I would have the result if it was, okay, that's messy here. Let's, let's go up from the water. Um, or I'll kind of like, I would have the results if it wasn't for this thing. That's not me. Yeah, it's only not my fault that I don't have the result. It's this other thing. And then when you tell them what they could do, it's like they almost get mad. Like, no, no, you don't understand. Like, Maybe I do understand. Maybe I've solved your exact problem, you little shit. Uh, your problems are not special at all. You are not special. That's a thing. All us human beings, we're made of the... How do you say that in English? We have some maskirutukun. We're made of the same stuff. 
all the properties, uh, all the things, exact same things happen to people. It's just like, on, where on the scale are you with this? And what expression of that, you know? Because the, the several different life difficulties will make a person feel the same way, for instance, you know? And uh, w one person, they might have a bigger challenge in this area and not so much here. And the other person have a bigger challenge there, and not there, etc. It's like, life is not easy. That's the whole point. It's like, you know, it, 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 well, there, there are different degrees to problems, absolutely. But in the end, in the end, there's always a way to tackle it. Like, I've thought through this already, that's the thing. You gotta be prepared. Failing to prepare is preparing to fail. I even thought through when I realized that I love this, you know, I wanna train, I wanna become the strongest and healthiest version, like the best all over, but in the training too, I'm good at this, and I wanna train people. I've already thought, you know, my body is like a very valuable possession, it's to everyone, of course, but seeing as I do it for a living, I need to, you know. Um, what if I like lost my legs in some horrible accident, you know? But what, what would I do then? Yeah, I already know that, of course, I can't prepare so w much that I don't care about losing my leg. There will always be a huge trauma. Like, even in the way it happens, it's not something that happens in a calm and nice way. But I would just get super jacked in my upper body then. I'll, I'd be the guy, I'd tell that story now. I'd be the guy that lost his leg, uh, uh, legs and was depressed as hell and wanted to give it in. It's like, how do I do this? Uh, describe all the problems of having to learn to live life without legs. But then doing it and keeping doing it, becoming so strong with my upper body that I'm at a point, I'm so happy. I'm so happy that I can accomplish what I can with my hand, that I can make it around without my legs, you know? That I don't care, this is me now. I'm the guy that doesn't even need legs to be a strong beast and a happy and fulfilled and content person, you know? So that's just the example, but you know, for me, that's the anxiety, you know? I still have anxiety. It's something I have to deal with a lot. You know, when my girl, I mean, I don't wanna, that's not the topic, you know, but if you know about anxious avoidant relationships, I'll say this, um, the best relationships, when you find the right one for you, it's always the, they, the person that has everything you'd want and more, but also everything you need, meaning they will trigger all your biggest fears and insecurities. And for me, it is that my abandonment wound from, from my childhood, um, that, that gets triggered. Uh, and I get crippling anxiety at times when, when I get triggered in the relationship. And I feel like the little boy. I feel like the little boy again that's afraid to lose the loved one, you know. Um, afraid that they messed up, not knowing what to do. But even this, even this, I'm able to, like, at a point, I, now I've come so far with this anxiety, this abandonment wound from my childhood, that uh, basically nothing else can trigger it. I, I can get upset <laughs> if uh, other people are close to me, like, like seem to be pulling away from me or something, but I don't really get anxiety. And even when I get it, I now know, I, I've worked so much on it that I know where it comes from, and I can get on top of it very quickly. So you understand, that's, that's the equivalent to me losing the legs. I, I lost my sense of feeling safe uh, and being in the moment. And so, so much of my life I had to live anxious, just worrying and feeling afraid about the future and want to escape, out, uh, you know, feeling that discomfort, that anxiety is, that you just want to escape out of your body. I managed to work with it. Like, it's like, fuck you and your problems. And you know what I'll say this to? If you knew, I just took some example that were more typical there with, oh, my job is in the way. Oh, I don't have the perfect training conditions. Oh, uh, I had this injury. Oh, I was depressed. Those are like the kind of more common ones. But if you just knew some things that me and the people I love had, have had to go through, even throughout these years when I've been doing this, they are just not my place to talk about, you know, uh, out loud for you, like with my things that just involve me, you know. But if you only knew, you would feel pathetic. You would feel pathetic uh, for your problems that you're complaining about. And some of you, you have problems like that too. None of this is me being unempathetic to any of your problems. I'm just saying that, yes, it is difficult. That's not an excuse not to do it. Then it's your fault. Those things that are difficult, they were not your fault. But if you let them become, come in the way forever, 
then it's all your fault. It's your responsibility. What happened to you, a lot of your circumstances were not your fault. I feel ya. But what do we do now? How do we do it now? Not, oh, I can't do it because. What do we do now? That's my message to you. So guys, it's really about time you took this to the next level. I have my Christmas sale on the coaching going still. You can reach out to know more on my Instagram, DM me or email. The links are in the description. It's about time you took this to the next level. On Common Sense Fitness is not just a fitness program. Body, mind and soul, we train everything. We overcome everything, becoming the best selves that we possibly can be. It just so happens that fitness and diet, working on the body is a huge foundation for all of that. So reach out and start a new year on top or like start a new year climbing to the top. So please leave a comment, please like. Please subscribe for more content about fitness, fasting, losing weight, building muscles, have improved stoicism, and mental health, mindset. It's a mindset, guys. That's all it is. Peace.